Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris from BCN Games. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a Mo Creatures server using the downloads they give you from the Mo Creatures page. So here I have up the Minecraft forums page for Mo Creatures version 4.5 used with Minecraft 1.4.7. So we're going to scroll down to the download section and you're going to find that you need three things. The Minecraft the Mo Creatures mod 4.5 here the Forge Client, and the Custom Mob Spawner. For the server, you are not going to need GUI API as it doesn't work with that. And I'll get to that a little bit later. But anyway, I have those things preloaded in my downloads. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a new folder just so I don't get confused with that, uh, that stuff in it. and go ahead and make a new folder for your server. You can name it anything you want, doesn't really matter. And let's head over to minecraft.net. We're gonna go download the server jar file. Okay, once you get to minecraft.net, go down to download on the right hand side. And you're gonna to wanna to download this file right here, minecraft server.jar. And uh, I'll save that to my desktop. And once you got it on your desktop, you can quick just drag that into the new server folder. So there's nothing in there right now. Uh, now what we're going to do with that server is we're going to have to open that up with something called the unarchiver, which I like to use. You can use um, any kind of unarchiver. I know there's uh, 7-zip, stuff like that. You can get the unarchiver from the, uh, the App Store, the Mac App Store, which I use. And uh, once you have that, you can go ahead and throw away that jar. Minecraft server, you're going to put dot .jar at the end of that and hit add. So this way we'll use that as a jar while I'll still be able to look into it. Uh, I like to arrange it by kind. It seems to make it the transition a little bit easier for me. And uh, we go into our uh, stuff folder and we're going to unzip forge first. That's the first thing we're going to install. So once we have forge here, I'm going to set them up so they both have the same type of thing and go ahead and drag in anything that is not already there such as those two and the way Mac works is a little bit different from PC the uh, the OS makes it so that we have to physically drag everything in from each folder that's not there it's not like Windows where you can do the fill that you can do the replace so I want you to go into say the net over here, the net over here, anything that's not there, go ahead and drag in. Minecraft, Minecraft, server, you don't need client. Um, you can do that and hit replace like that. So this is the way I do it and uh, it's 100% works, no problem. Dragon Paul's code. And once that's done, you can just do a quick command A to copy everything and drag that all over. And uh, it'll ask you if you want to replace everything and just yet yeah, yes. And that'll take a few seconds. And there we go. So once that's done, we can go ahead and take everything inside the folder, do a control A again, or command A, and we're going to compress those items. Basically what we're doing now is we're going to remake the jar that we had in the beginning, recompressing everything. So that file should show up at the bottom here. We can go ahead and copy that and bring it back to your server folder. Now we don't need this anymore. We can throw that out. And once your zip is to this folder, we're going to go ahead and rename that exactly what we had it. So Minecraft underscore server, and then erase the zip and put dot .jar there, and use dot .jar. Now what this does is it, it remakes the jar. It shows it as a zip, but trust me, it's a, it's a jar. So once you double-click that, you will open up the the jar application and it will run as an actual server. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna run it now just so we can get all of our folders such as core mods and make sure 
uh, forge is actually working. Um, if not, there's probably a bug somewhere, probably within the folders and the copying and that stuff. And uh, just make sure you did all that stuff correctly. And it'll start loading the worlds. We don't really care about that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and quit. So we have our core mods folder, our mods folder. Those are the two most important things. We're going to go into what we had with the original downloads. Oh, stuff folder. And we have custom mob spawner and dark desert smoke creatures. And we're going to go ahead and drag those or copy them into your mods folder. And if I am not mistaken, the server should be up and running. Okay, it looks like everything went smoothly. Uh, can't keep up with system change. That's probably just a uh, RAM error of some sort. Um, looks like it uh, came out all right. Now, just to test that. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Minecraft and see if I can spawn some more creatures. Okay, so once Minecraft is up, going to our multiplayer. My Mac is available, which is the computer. And uh, it's going to be a little bit laggy since I usually don't run the server on the same computer I play Minecraft on. But uh, let's just get in anyway. Also, due to the fact that, there, that the server does not work without a GUI folder, this means InstaSpawn will not be available. Um, but what I'm going to do is we have, I'm assuming I have eggs, egg spawners. Uh, apparently they don't go like that. What do they call them? spawner spawner eggs yes and uh, let's get one from the newest update elephant sounds good to me and uh, let's uh, pop them down right there yep and uh, everything appears to be in working order uh, here what are some other ones uh, Komodo got our big friend the Komodo dragon where is he there he is and I can hit them and everything happens right. And I'm poisoned, Jesus. Um, anyway, uh, so everything appears to be in working order. Uh, any questions or comments, guys, please don't be afraid to ask. I'll try and help you the best I can. Uh, if not, I will refer you to someone else who can help you. Uh, thanks for watching. This was Chris from BC and Games. I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this one and uh, a lot of fun with your friends. And I will talk to you later.